This was the scene Friday night on Northwest 5th and Cooch. Officers responded to a shots fired call just after 9.30 and say three people were hit. One was taken to the hospital but later died. Another had life-threatening injuries and a third was treated at the scene. That's just old town, yeah. On Saturday morning... But I can't say I'm entirely surprised. News of the shooting... I'm gonna keep it real, I'm not really surprised anymore. ...felt like part of the norm for people living and working nearby. It's, it's a different element these days down here. Josh Drennan is a stylist at Bridgetown Barber Society on Northwest 5th. He remembers another shooting just a few days ago. You can still see there's a bullet hole over there going into the storefront. Um, which seems to be kind of like commonplace these days. I think three, four weeks ago, there was a shooting in the parking lot. Jordan Cardenas works at Deadstock Coffee on Northwest Cooch. But there was a whole bunch of stray bullets, and two of them broke our window on the right side. And one hit, like, both of them hit our fridge, and one hit the top and, like, the side of the fridge. Um, and that was, like, pretty tough, I'm not going to lie, because where they shot was, like, where we, like, where our head's at usually. Portland's Old Town neighborhood has seen several shootings and fights in recent months. Portland police say Friday's deadly shooting marks the city's 47th shooting homicide this year. Some got to change. I'm sick of seeing, like, shootings. Jordan hopes this neighborhood makes a comeback. A lot of the businesses in the area are really dope. Um, so I feel like Chinatown as a whole has a lot of potential and we're slowly getting there. But neighbors recognize with all its potential, Old Town also comes with challenges of shootings, break-ins and drugs. I love Portland, don't get me wrong. Um, but it's definitely, it's taken a hit last couple years. Christelle Kumwe, KGW News.